y'all and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a cooking video and this is going to be homemade Bosco sticks. If you don't really know what Bosco sticks are, I will insert a picture right here. Um, it's pretty much just a pizza dough with like cheese inside, like a breadstick, breadstick with cheese inside. Now, this video was inspired by cooking in the Midwest, I believe. I will also insert right through here a little like tidbit of the inspirational video. And obviously it's going to show their username in it because this is off of TikTok. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. But before we jump into what ingredients you need, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the little bell to be notified when I upload. And make sure when you click that bell, it says all and not personalized. So let's just go ahead and get right into what you need. Okay guys, so the ingredients you're gonna need are mozzarella cheese. You can use shredded or you can just get the block. You will need butter for your top of your Bosco sticks. Pizza sauce, if you prefer that to dip them in. Some parsley flakes, you can choose to get fresh parsley. I was on a budget here. You need pizza crust mix. It doesn't matter what kind, I just went with the great value kind. And you will need vegetable oil. A measuring cup of your choice. Let's not judge mine, I accidentally melted it a little bit. <laughs> you will need a non-stick spray. I had this buttered spray, same thing. And I'm just going to preheat my oven personally to 325 because I have a gas stove. Gas is a whole lot different than electric, trust me. Um, so you are just going to take your pizza crust and you are just going to pour it into a bowl. I forgot to mention, obviously you need a bowl, but I'm sure that's pretty self-explanatory. So I done two packets of pizza crust because I made quite a bit of these. If you do not want to make a whole lot, then just do one pizza crust bag or packet, whatever you want to call it. Next, we are going to add a cup of hot water. Now, for each packet, it says to do half a cup of hot water. We are doing two. So, we are just going to do a whole cup. And this says to do one teaspoon of oil so we are going to do two since we are using two packets again and we are just going to mix it all up guys so you can use a fork like i did or you can get your hands a little dirty and just go in and mix it that way but i highly recommend if your dough ends up being a little bit sticky like mine was, adding a little bit of self-rising flour or any kind of flour that you have. It even says on the packet, if your dough is too sticky, you can add one to two teaspoons or tablespoons of oil. Now, I'm just adding a few capfuls of oil just to baste over top of this while we cover it up here in just a minute and let it rest for five minutes so we are just doing that now i don't have one of those basting brushes so i just work with obviously my hands or anything that i have now like i said this requires for it to rest for five minutes so in the meantime we are going to be taking our butter spray and just spraying our pan now as you can see i actually started running out of the spray and let's ignore my stove it is dirty i know i need to clean it but i figured i would clean it after i made the mess that i'm making right now so after that we melted hmm, i think i melted about six four to six tables teaspoons i mean of butter in the microwave and we are just taking some parsley flakes and adding that into the butter mixture and just giving that a little bit of a mix and then we are going to add a smidge of garlic powder not a whole lot because we don't want our breath smelling like garlic trust me it's not the best thing in the world and it's so hard to get out of your mouth um 
And then we are going to take a little bit of Parmesan. This is just regular grated Parmesan. You can get a different kind of Parmesan if you want. There's Romano Parmesan, I believe, or something like that. Um, but this is just regular old Parmesan cheese, and we're just giving that a mix. Now, after that is mixed, we are going in with our pizza dough, and I tried shaping it into a little ball. And then I'm just cutting this into about eight pieces just to start off with just to see how i like it now i use two different techniques with these and i highly recommend doing the second technique more than the first because the first one wasn't exactly the best method honestly but i rolled with it done it anyway so you're going to kind of pat it out into a rectangle shape and then you're going to add your mozzarella cheese once you add your mozzarella cheese, you are going to kind of just roll it and fold it up, kind of almost like a burrito, and just kind of tuck it in at the ends, and there is your Bosco stick. Now, here is the second method I was talking about. I actually rolled the dough around, kind of mixed it up a little bit more, and then I just took my fingers and I started pulling and stretching it into that rectangle shape, and this was actually a lot better um <laughs> sadly i didn't think of this technique when i first started doing all of them but almost halfway through i was like man this is so much easier so i highly recommend pulling and stretching it into the rectangle shape now these obviously aren't perfectly rectangle that's okay we're not perfect life's not perfect so of course again just add your cheese and then you start grabbing the side and then just rolling and folding and tucking Once we have them all finished, you are going to take your butter mixture and put it all over your Bosco sticks. Now, like I said earlier, I do not have a basting brush. This works so, so much better with a basting brush. I highly recommend doing that. Now, I do end up having to go in with just a little bit more like parsley and a little bit more Parmesan cheese later on, but... I highly recommend using a basting brush, but the way I honestly just done my technique, it actually helped them from sticking to the pan as bad as well, and it helped give the bottoms a little bit more of a golden brown, and it was just, oh, it was actually a lot better than it looked, even though they're not perfect without a basting brush. But as you can see here, I added extra parsley and extra Parmesan just to make up for some of it not going on the Bosco sticks properly. So we are putting them into the oven now, guys. And I cannot wait to eat these. Like, we ate them and they were so, so good. My toddler approved of them and she's two years old. She ate three of them. Now, it says here I put it on for 12 minutes, but where I done mine on 325, I actually done it for 18 minutes. And then once... They started getting the perfect brownness on the bottom. I ended up broiling them on high for just a few seconds. And here is the finished product. I actually kind of overdone them a little bit. Some of the cheese came out, as you can see. But they still ended up being that really good pulled cheese, stringy cheese. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. And thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.